Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Tom Tough Nuts coming at you with another music reaction. Today, we are going to go take a really, really good look at the incredible band Queen and George Michael performing Queen's original Somebody to Love. Uh, however, this is a tribute concert that was performed for Freddie Mercury uh, after he passed away from gathering here, uh, which is unfortunate because George Michael also passed away. Uh, but to hear George Michael, I did a uh, a reaction to uh, George and Elton John performing "Don't Let the Sun Go Down on Me" uh, about a you know a little over a couple weeks ago, and oh my goodness, I wasn't so I wasn't very familiar with George Michael other than like "Careless Whisper" um, and "Wake Me Up." <laughs> Those two songs, I never knew how incredible of a singer he really was until I watched that performance and just literally blew my mind. The guy is just an incredible. Uh, showman as well as vocalist, and to hear him do something by Queen, let alone easily, probably my favorite Queen song, uh, at least top three for sure. It's it's hard to choose a favorite Queen, right? Uh, but this one's definitely top three for me. I love this song so much, and to hear George Michael do it should be really interesting because um, he's definitely got a voice to probably perform it exceptionally well, uh, and for Queen to choose him to do it. I'm sure it's going to be an incredible, incredible performance. <clears throat> but before we dive in here, guys, don't forget to do me a favor. Right on down below, hit that like and subscribe button. That way, you enjoy this type of content. We continue reacting to whether it's George Michael, Queen, or whoever else here on the channel. I always find my music through you guys down in the comments or during our live streams uh, when we get them. Um, so thank you guys so much for that. Uh, but here we go. Queen and George Michael performing Somebody to Love live. <sighs> Let's check it out. This one's going to be fun. Sounds awesome. Wow, that's a lot of people. I work hard, it was hot every day of my life. I work to like my bones every day. At the end of the day, I take home my heart and pay all on my own. I go down my knees and I press the to the tears to run down from my eyes. Lord, somebody, somebody. Ooh. He is freaking nailing this. Like, Freddie put it on a whole new level hearing him do it. Uh, but George Michael, you cannot, you cannot disagree with me when I say that he's doing an exceptional job. This guy, to me, he's very underrated just because I'm not familiar with his music as much uh, compared to Queen and what I've heard from Freddie. But to me, he's underrated. Extremely, extremely underrated to do this song this freaking well is just incredible. Absolutely incredible to watch. Uh, the production of the show is really nice. Obviously, it's cool that they got a nice background choir there. That definitely adds to the song a lot. Um, obviously, they're going to stay probably all the way through just like the original. Um, so I don't think we're going to see any change ups in it. Maybe. I don't know. Who knows? Um, but that is a lot of people there. I'd, I'd be curious if you guys know if you guys have a maybe a head count of how many people are at the show. It's, I mean, it's, it's insane how many people, and I understand why for it to be a tribute to Freddie, uh, he touched the world, um, with his voice and, uh, uh, and this is, this is amazing. This might be one of my favorite, uh, live performances, but we'll see where it goes from here. But George Michael is definitely, definitely hitting it out of the park with this, uh, vocal performance. Let's keep going, but. Yeah, I try. Ryan. 
also want to I do also want to say I appreciate the hell out of George singing this. Mostly, I mean, he's obviously doing an incredible job, but one of the biggest things I'm noticing with him performing this song is his enunciation, uh, especially during the verses. It's very um, punchy, and it's very similar to the way that Freddie uh, vocally did it. Uh, it's just like really like in your face, um, the way that he enunciated, and I'm glad that George is doing it very similar to the way Freddie did it. I think that uh, shows a lot of respect and appreciation uh, towards the song itself and the band. Um, just a small little thing to point out, but incredible. Very few people, I think, could pull something like that off, and George is definitely one of them. One thing I forgot to point out, I can't believe I forgot. Um, Freddie was very, very well known for crowd interaction with a lot of his songs, a lot of them. He, uh, he had a way, because Queen's music is internationally. Everybody knows Queen. Everybody knows a lot of songs by Queen. Um, but when it came to live performances with Freddie from the ones I've seen, uh, it's been a handful. Um, Freddie always had a way to make the crowd feel involved. If you were there, you were part of the show. Uh, but like just whether it was Freddie's interesting dancing or vocals or just like the chanting he does, like the back and forth uh, vocal reciprocation that he does between him and the crowd is really fun. Uh, and it's cool that George Michael kind of touched on that in a way and got the crowd really involved because it would make you feel like you're at more of an authentic queen experience. Um, I have nothing negative to say about this performance. I think he knocked it out of the park vocally. I think he's his showmanship, his performing was incredible. The band, I mean, his queen, of course, they're going to nail it. The, the background singers were powerful, added so much more 
uh, to the song. Crowd totally were into it. The, the, however many, tens of thousands, over 100,000, I have no idea. That's incredible. That is a performance, ladies and gentlemen. That's how it is done. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this reaction, but most importantly, hopefully you enjoyed two music vocal titans. Um, well, one performing it, and the other one, well, to both of them, rest in peace. Uh, my little two-year-old wants a banana. You've had like three of them. You need to calm down. Um, <laughs> come here, buddy. Yeah. Hello. Gimli, it's my little buddy. Um, but anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this reaction. We hope to catch you next time, my friends. Don't forget to leave something down in the comments. I love reading your guys' comments, and I respond to them when I can. We hope to catch you later, my friends. I'm going to go find another one, uh, whether it's Queen or George Michael. They're just too much fun to listen to. Um, but we'll, we'll <laughs> you want to say bye-bye? Huh? You want to say bye-bye? Bye. Bye. Take care, friends. See you at the next reaction.